Today on The Foreign Fork, we are making lucumades, which is a donut recipe from Cyprus that are soaked in honey. They're little mini donuts and they are so sweet. They're really easy to make, so keep watching the video and I'm gonna take you through the steps. All right, everybody, welcome to the Foreign Fork Kitchen where we are cooking one meal from every country in the world. And today we are journeying to Cyprus where we're gonna be making lucumades. So to get started, you are going to need one cup of milk. I'm using 2% milk. I'm gonna heat it up in this measuring cup. And this milk is gonna be the base for where we're gonna be activating our yeast for the mini donuts. So once you have your cup of milk and a microwave safe dish, go ahead and put it in the microwave for maybe 15, 20 seconds, just enough to make it a tiny bit warmer than lukewarm. And then I'll show you what to add in after that. Okay, so once the milk is warm, we are going to activate the yeast. So I have a teaspoon of sugar that I'll put in the milk and then I have one package of active dry yeast. So I'm gonna cut this open and pour it into the milk as well. I'm gonna give it a little bit of a stir and then leave that off to the side where I'll let it rise while I put together the rest of the dough. To get started making the dough for the lucumares, you're gonna need three and a quarter cups of all-purpose flour. You'll also need two tablespoons of sugar. The first time that I had lucumades was when I went on a food tour in Athens, Greece, and they were absolutely delicious. It was a warm plate of warm donuts with um, honey drizzled on top, like straight out of the fryer, and it was so good. And the reason why I had them in Greece is because Cyprus and Greece share a lot of the same cultural influences when it comes to food, and a lot of the recipes are pretty similar. So when I got to Cyprus and I saw that lucumades were also very popular in Cyprus, I knew I had a while till I got to the G's, so I was like, okay, I'm putting lucumades in the menu for Cyprus instead. So little history about lucumades for you. The very first record that we had of lucumades being made is from ancient Greece in 776 BC, and they were actually made as a prize for the Olympic victors. So if you won, you got a plate of lucumades. So that doesn't tell you it's made of liquid gold, then I don't know what will. Okay, so once you have the flour and the sugar in this bowl, you're also gonna need to add four tablespoons of olive oil, one cup of water, and then also once your yeast has risen enough that you can see maybe like quarter of an inch of risen yeast here, it takes maybe 10 minutes or so to get it to that point, then you can put in the milk and the yeast mixture as well. So that's a reminder, one cup of milk and then the yeast. Then just take your whisk and whisk it all up. It's gonna make kind of a wet dough and that is totally what we want. Once everything is all combined, you're gonna need to spray a glass bowl with nonstick spray. Put the dough in there and leave it to rest for about an hour or until it doubles in size. All right, so I left our dough to rise and you can see that it is definitely a lot bigger than when we put it in the bowl. I will admit I did um, leave this to rise a little bit longer than an hour, so it's probably a bit bigger than what we anticipated, but that's all right, we're gonna roll with it. So the dough is nice and risen, and I am going to heat up some oil in here on this pan. So I have a cookie scoop here, and I'm actually going to spray it with some nonstick spray because this dough is pretty sticky. And I'm gonna grab the dough, with the cookie scoop and place it into the oil. I have about an inch of oil here um, and I'm just gonna let it cook in the oil until it turns brown and then I'll flip it over and do it the other way. If you have a smaller cookie scoop, you'll probably be able to get them a little bit more round than what mine are turning out to be. Either way, they don't have to be beautiful. They're just gonna be delicious. So I'll probably fry like five or six in here at a time because this is a pretty big pan. Instead, if you don't want to use a cookie scoop. You can also use your hands, but just be really careful when you're putting it in the oil. You don't want to get splattered or hurt. And you can see how they're kind of puffing up. That's because we have the yeast in there that's going to make them rise while they're cooking. So you can see this one's kind of starting to get brown on the bottom, so we'll flip it over. We'll flip them all, and if they're not completely done, we can flip them back. This one's kind of turning itself over here. I can't wait to smother them in honey. If you find that when you take your donuts out and you um, cut into the first batch, if you find that they're cooked on the outside but the dough is pretty raw in the inside, you'll need to turn down the heat on your oil and let it rest for a couple minutes so it can cool down. That normally means that your temperature is too hot. So you want it to make sure you know the right temperature is when you cut into the first batch and it's cooked all the way through. All right, 
Some of these are looking done to me, so I'm just gonna use this and scoop them out onto a paper towel lined plate where I'll let them rest. Then we'll simply repeat that process until all the dough is gone. So a lot of times when you see donuts that are cooked like this in America, we add powdered sugar on top or some granulated sugar. In Cyprus and in Greece, they add honey, which just adds a whole nother level of flavor. So we have our donuts that are completely cooked. They're still warm out of the fryer or out of the oil. And I have a half cup of honey here that I've microwaved for about 30 seconds just to make it kind of pourable so that we can soak the donuts in the honey. So I'm gonna pour that over the plate of fresh donuts and let them kind of sit in that. Lastly, I have some walnuts here. And just for garnishment, I'm just gonna take some of the walnuts and kind of use my knife to chop them up. And then you sprinkle the walnuts on top. And if you don't like walnuts, you don't have to do this, but I love walnuts, so I'm gonna put them on here. And that's how you make lucamates. So you can stab them with the fork, take a bite out of it, close your eyes and just imagine that you are in Greece or Cyprus. Thank you so much for following along with me as I make this recipe from Cyprus. If you want the full instructions, I'm gonna put a link to the written instructions in the description of the video below. And then you can also check out all of the other videos on my channel. We have different recipes from all around the world and some delicious things to try that I think you're gonna love. Thank you so much for hanging out with me this week. I will see you next week. Bye.